In this lesson, we are going to explore how we can work in a collaborative environment by setting up work sharing, creating work sets, and assigning them to the model elements. The first thing we need to do is establish this model as a work shared model. To do that, I'm going to go down to the bottom and select the work sharing button. When I do that, I'm going to enable work sharing. And what it'll do is it'll take all the levels and the grids and add them to the shared levels and grids work set. And then the remaining model elements will be moved to work set one. I hit OK. Once work sharing is enabled, you'll see that we have our two work sets, which are both set to editable. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And now I'm going to save the model as a central model. I'll go to File, Save As, Project. I'm going to save it in the same folder, but this time I'm going to click Options. And I want to make sure that Make This Central Model After Save is checked, which by default, it should be grayed out and checked. And I'll hit OK and click Save. This is now going to be a central model. Now that it is a central model, what I can do is I can synchronize and modify the settings. And I can hit OK. After I've done that, I want to make sure that I'm not checking out any of these work sets. So I'll go back into the work sets dialog. And wherever it says editable and has yes next to it, that means that I, as the user, have checked out these work sets. So any other user on the team would not be able to work on these elements. So I'm going to go ahead and say no to both the work sets that we've created and hit OK. I'll go ahead and synchronize, but instead of synchronize and modify settings, I'll click the arrow next to it, and I'll just have it synchronized now. At this point, I'm going to close out of the model, because now that the central model has been created, I'm going to go ahead and open again. And what I want to do here is I want to go ahead and I want to create myself a local model. To do this, I need to make sure as I go through to open the model, that we have create new local checked. What this will do is it'll create the local copy of the model that I can work on without locking up all of the, the central model elements. So in this case, if you were working in the central model, you might get in the way of all your other team members who are trying to work in that same model as well. The idea is that we can work share from a central model only using the elements that we are personally working on. If I were to work in the central model, I would own all of those elements, and we wouldn't be able to work in a collaborative environment. Now that work sharing has been enabled, what I can do is I can go ahead and create work sets that I could use for other elements. To do that, I can go back into the work sets dialog and simply do new. Part of this exercise, we're going to be linking models. And so what I'll do is I'll create the work sets that we can use for those model links. The naming here is really up to you, but I like to be consistent. So I'll use the term link and MEP. And I'll make another one for structural. And that's how we create work sets. Same thing as before. We don't want these to be editable. But before I do that, I need to make sure that I synchronize the model after I create the work set so that I can set it to not editable. So I'll hit OK. It's asking me if I want to make the last one I created, the active work set. I'm going to say no, because the majority of the work I want to do is going to be on that work set one. I'll go ahead and synchronize. and then go back in and set those two new work sets to be not editable. And this will allow me to relinquish control over those work sets. And I'll synchronize again. 